Hello there, and welcome to the release video for version 18 of the Google Ads API. I'm Mattia Tomazone, I'm a developer relations engineer on the Google Ads API team, and I will be walking you through the main updates in this release. There are several new features that I want to introduce, but before we get started, remember to like this video if you found it useful and to subscribe to the channel so that you can always be up to date with what's going on with the Google Ads API. Now let's start with one of the topics that is always interesting for the Google Ads API developer community, Pmax. We have a few new features in that space. By the way though, in case you missed it, we recently hosted an online workshop about Pmax. You can re-watch all the sessions on YouTube. I will leave you a link to them in the video description below. There is a new report in V18, Performance Max Placement View, that will give you information about where your ads were shown, whether on a website, in a mobile app, or on YouTube. Use the Performance Max Placement View to retrieve placement data for Performance Max campaigns rather than using the Detail Placement View. V18 introduces several new pieces of information that you can retrieve through Google Ads API reporting. Let's take a look. The store visits last click model attributed conversions metric and the results conversions purchase metric, which are available when querying the campaign resource, provide the same information that is shown in the Google Ads UI to measure how campaigns are performing in terms of store visits and purchase conversions. We have also released three new metrics, which are available when querying the campaign resource, that provide more granular information about the view rate of your videos, whether in the YouTube feed, in the YouTube stream, or in YouTube shorts. And finally, we have two new metrics related to the number of invalid clicks, that provide aggregate measurements about the clicks that were considered invalid to help you better understand how a campaign is performing in terms of clicks and conversions. The improvements in reporting in version 18, though, are not limited to metrics. When issuing search queries for demand gen campaigns, you can now use the new network type called Google Owned Channels to see what traffic was served on Google Owned and Operated channels, such as the Discover feed or Gmail or YouTube. Version 18, however, is not just about Pmax and reporting. With the recommendation service, you can now generate budget recommendations during campaign construction. Use the Generate Recommendations method and the Campaign Budget Recommendation type to get optimized budget suggestions for creating new search and performance max campaigns. Last but not least, there is a new feature in the Audience Insights service. The Generate Targeting Suggestion Metrics endpoint will allow you to translate a freeform text audience description such as We may in their 30s who love to travel into a targetable audience resource. Of course, this is not everything, these were just my own highlights among the many updates and improvements we introduced in version 18. For the complete list of changes that were included in this new release of the API, just take a look at our release notes. You can find that and other useful links in the video description right below. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and again, remember to subscribe to the channel to always be up to date with the Google Ads API.